Yes, so thank God we are back now with Nana Kobnabwedi. Nana Kobnabwedi, uh, today thank yes. you for joining us on One Life J uh, Television. My name is Lord, Lord Kaliba, and you made some re revealing um, statement about the hazards related to the vegetarian lifestyle. So thank God for ha having you today to en engage you, to teach us, educate us, and help us understand how we can live to balance ourselves if we choose to do this lifestyle. If you are watching us, please do share this live stream, send in your comment and uh, get engaged and let's get this movement going. Nana, quick in amen, introduction amen. and let's zone in, okay. All right, okay. All right, so my name is Nana Kwabana Bodhi. I hope you can hear me well. Yes, with your turn up like that. All yes. right, all right. So I am a holistic uh, healer. Um, mm -hmm natural part you know everything that has to do with food and nutrition so right. been doing this yeah for two decades now and more you know so basically that is who i am everything that has to do with the human body human frame that is you know what i do you know what mm. i mean so nana, i'm, I'm uh, like a human mechanic yeah <laughs> 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 yeah. Nana, we know the yeah. ideal uh, healthy lifestyle that would be uh, re recommended for anybody, any human being, I, 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 if, 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 if I would put it uh, like, like that, mm -hmm. is the vegetarian or the vegan lifestyle. But yet you made this revealing uh, notion of the, that people are really dying uh, due to the, 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 the choice of towing that path. Kindly fill us in, and why do you think it is so? Okay. Well, um, like I said, for twenty years plus now, you know, I have gone through all the path. I mean, you know, all. Or the path, but there is there there is no path you mentioned that I have never been to. All major okay. religions, you know. So as we start growing up, you know, um, trying to be conscious or try to see the light. The first um, school of I mean thought or the first place that I went to. Or I got exposed to is the Rastafari community. You okay. See? Yeah. So I happened to go to all the, I mean, most of the Rastafari houses, like uh, the Nayabingi and the uh, Twelve Tribes and all these kind of things. Yeah. But then my spirit moved me to um, Bobo Shanti. You know what I mean? So I went to the bubble camp, you know, and that is where so many things also start revealing. But before I went there, I was already on a fruitarian path, you know, a fruitarian path. So I was eating 100% raw fruit, nothing, no cooked food. And this is way wow. back, 19, yeah, 1998, you see, strictly cooked uh, uh, fruit and nuts raw even if it is not raw, raw stoked peanut and cashew and stuff like that you understand so i did this strictly for a year plus and i saw the pros and the cons and everything and um i also um due to challenges at home you know with my parents especially my father as we all know in this part of the world when you start to grow your, your locks, you start to have challenges at home. So I got to leave home and then I got to pursue the light, you know, with other teachers. So I saw one teacher, one master called um, um, Yaksiviel or Ali Makuja, who also taught me how to prepare, you know, the vegan dishes. He's the one who started teaching me about how to prepare banana bread, coconut bread, and stuff like that, millet bread. So yes, we took um, healing to another level where 
he prepares um, all these dishes for me, all nice recipes for me, then I will carry it to all the various ghettos in Accra, to all known rasters in Accra. Yeah? Those who are watching, they know Congo Watu is here. I've, mm. I've served all of them from Aveno. Everybody in Aveno will be waiting for me. You know what I mean? At the headquarters, they will be waiting for me, you know, because they know that what I'm bringing is good food, yeah? I will go all the way, all the high street, sell, Kanishi, everywhere. I walk wow. from all, all the way from La Paz all the way to high street. You should see the end. Serious. And I was doing this strictly for a year. You know, I was selling at Accra Sports Stadium, coconut bread, veggie pies, ita, this, everything. So even there are some places when I go in Accra, they don't even know my name. They call me Aita, Aita, Aita. You understand? <laughs> so we went through all these things. It was a nice path. You understand? Because eating whole grain um, bread compared to the white flour bread was a good thing. You understand? And it is still a good thing because white flour is bleached. So there's nothing to gain from that. And it just gives constipation. So it is a good thing to eat whole wheat bread if you want to eat bread. Fast forward. I was one of the best vegan chefs in the whole of country. And until now. Best vegan chef that a lot of people come from outside. All the way from USA just to come and eat my food. So I have worked with all the institutions that says that they are vegans and vegetarians. I know all the churches. There are some organizations from India that are vegetarians. On Sundays, I go and sell for them because they are waiting for my food. And I was the first person to prepare banana bread in the whole of the country. Banana bread. Wow. So every Rasta man can bear witness when I used to go to Akuma village and sell all these things. But guess what? I started having challenges. And the challenges has to do with relationship, you know, sexual performances, and stuff like that. Why? So, because, listen, brethren, as I told you, the way I walk, I burn a lot of calories. So much calories in a day. Over 10,000 calories, walking alone. And by the end of the year, you can see that I look drained. So it started affecting my relationship. Every woman mm. that will come has to complain about my performance. You see, what I'm telling you, it's not everybody yeah. that can tell you this. Because none of them are hypocrites. None of them are suffering like that. They come in my they inbox. Voice it out. They can voice it out. But I document every aspect of my life so that I can save myself and save my people. Right. And at that time, some of the rasters at that time, they hold this vegan thing so high, like World Cup, that, you know what I mean, they are ready to chop off people's head when they see them eating meat. We went through all that. That's why when I see some of the youth, fire bone this, fire bone that, and all that kind of thing, I understand where they are coming from because I went through all that before. So now that sexual, lifestyle, weakness, be, sexual weak, weakness became weakness. one of your early indi yes. indicated problems mm. as a baby. Yes. What sexual weakness and dryness. You know, my lips all became dry. You understand? I used to have dehydration, number one. I used to have a very juicy lips. Now I have it back. You understand? Very juicy lips in school. Everybody knows my skin fresh and I'm still having the fresh you used to have your freshness. Now, but I was so dry. So one day, I, one day I was dating an Ethiopian and, uh, woman, a very beautiful woman, who happens to be the granddaughter of Ali Selassie. And um, she, she told me that. And she said, no, 
she looked at my picture, you know, secondary school picture, and she said, no, why? I'm looking so dry. Why? You know, my lips are all dry. And she's like, you have to eat meat. You people don't know. You talk about Rasta, this and that. Go. Hesla says, my grandfather. And I'm telling you that he eats meat. He eats everything. <laughs> this is what she was telling me. Trust me, and at that time, I was so caught up. It, Wasn't you know, it the, the, the grand, the, the an illusion that, that made it? Nana? Wubit. Her name is Wubit Wubayahu. Wubit Wubayahu. Okay. Yes. Okay. And all and those she, people, those who know. The grandfather she, wasn't a vegetarian. She eats everything. All right, I mean, so she far. says so. She, We'll talk about that. She, 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 she told me so many things that the Rastas don't even know. You know what I mean? Anyways, so it's all about the food now. So you see, right. I started to find solution. And to fast forward, I lost my first marriage. My first marriage was with an African-American from Tennessee. And mm. I could not, you know, we could not, couldn't have a child. You understand. So she has to go back. You know what I mean? I didn't do anything like beat her or something, but she went back just like that. And it's all due to all these things. You see? And then my second marriage with a Ghanaian woman who was a priestess also, a traditional priestess. We're talking about Kung Fu. I lost her too. She divorced me. She took drinks and went to my father's and gave them the drinks and then the ring, told them that I couldn't make a child. I couldn't impregnate her. Wow. And she did. Yes, I'm telling you what I've gone through, blood. If not everybody can say all these things. This is the first time I'm, I'm talking about my relationship like that online. And it's first in relation time. to the, 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 the food you think you, you the bar. as a vegetarian. Yes. Okay. Because I right. thought, yeah, so now, I was doing fruits, I was doing fasting, more prolonged fasting, raw this, raw that. So I will, nobody can tell me that this is the problem. So in fact, oh, this yeah. led me to this led me to the other side, what they call spiritual. To I have to be seeking, going to shrine after shrine, shrine after shrine to go and seek. You understand for solutions. Because anytime you go to shrines, they will tell you that the reason why you cannot have a child is because your mother is this, your dad, blah, 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 blah. Master, oh, I, went through every, I went through every part, every shrine in Ghana. I mean, talking about all the well-known shrines in Ghana, in Togo, in Benin, in Nigeria. What are you talking about? All the money that, like by this time. I could use to build a whole clinic. Long time ago, I used all just to chase something that was bothering me. And finally... If I, if, if, if I get you, Claire, within, within all these points, you have not even realized that it is because of the lifestyle that you've, you, you were living by as a, as, as a vegan. That, that, uh, that is the underlying cause of what you might have been going through then. No, I did not realize that. I didn't realize that at all. You know what I mean? I didn't realize that at all because, you see, when I started this path for this vegan, there was no books. Yeah, even if there was books, the books were all written by African-Americans who are vegans like the likes of Dr. Lila Africa, okay? I had his book, first book, called Africa Holistic Science. First person to have his book, a Ghanaian to have his book, way back, 2002. You know, these are the books that you get. And trust me, whatever that he says is what you follow. Just like today, everybody is following Dr. C.D., okay? Yeah. The same way, at that time, we were following Dr. Lila, you see? Lila is dead. It's gone. All right? Good. So, there was no internet at that time for me to research. Nothing for me to research and see, you know what I mean, what is going on with me. Now, the youth are lucky. 
There's so much in, uh, uh, information out there. We, our time, no internet at all. So I went through hell. I fought so many battles in order for me to figure this thing out. And then okay. one day, a friend of mine told me that, brother, your problem is nothing. It's not spiritual, but it is just a natural thing. You know, your body is lacking this, that, 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 that. So just be balanced. That's all. So I started eating, incorporating animal products, you know what I mean, in my diet. That's all. With the same vegetables I was eating, I just add animal products. It's addition and subtraction. And then I achieve the results. Just in one month. Wow. If, if, if I would ask you, now we understand where uh, your observation to your statement comes from, experiencing it your, uh, in your own way. During mm -hmm. that journey or during that, that, that course, were there people around you who you know might have been going through similar circumstances or also uh, battling with certain problems that the vegetarian lifestyle was an underlying cause? All right, then. You know, there are so many. Since we are here, I know that our internet is good, so we would, there's a lot of information I have to give. You know what I mean? Listen, I also became one of the members of Hebrew Israelites. I was part of the Hebrew Israelites. As a matter of fact, it is the Hebrew Israelites who influenced the Rasta community. Before Hebrew Israelites came, Rasta man was eating fish. Rasta man was eating seafoods. You understand? Mm. Uh -huh. But the Hebrew Israelites, they are the ones who brought the concept of vegan to us. And so I joined them. And I bought the idea. And I can tell you that, that I was more instrumental than any youth. Every week, I bring more people into their community when we go to Sabbath classes. And so then I started working in their restaurant at Asasipa high street so i'll come there and so the person the first person that i saw that was deteriorating was the owner of asasipa who just passed the better blessed memory Aknatan, brother nathan brother wow. nathan was suffering every day even though he was cooking in the kitchen he was always coughing chronic cough he was suffering from tuberculosis tb and he's not even supposed to go to the kitchen because he's serving the public. But you see, all of us kept this quiet. Nobody was able to voice it out. And he was there in the kitchen and he was having TB, asthma, and so many things. So fast forward, there are so many brothers who also died within the Hebrew. Small malaria, boom, then they will die. Some of them from USA. Some of them in Volta region. They just pass away. And we have some rasters that personally I know them that had stroke all due to lack of omega-3 fatty acids in their brain, which we will touch down on that level. So there are so many of them. I lost a friend also in Tema, okay, a young brother in Tema, due to that deficiencies and different different people that I don't want to mention some of them. And also, some of them also were having, they did not die, but they were having also sexual um, and, and child uh, okay, situations like I, I, I had. And, and I will not mention, but I hear there's a brother that is even having so-called, he thinks that his children are his children, but I got it from the right source that his children are not his children. You understand? He is with a Rasta youth, a Rasta woman, and he thinks that the children are his children, but they are not. But I'll keep that name. And not about him alone. There are so many of them that don't have a child now. And they, they connect it to spirituality, thinking that they are highly conscious. You understand? That is how I was feeling. At that time when I was not having a child, some people were fooling me 
Oh, Congo, it's because you are powerful, because you are vibrating so high. This is what they tell us. You are vibrating so high. Because your frequency is so high, that is why you are, you know, you, you ask for you, you are highly, so you are demigod, you know, so demigods don't have children. So you are a saint. You know, they were pumping all this thing into my head for me to let go, for me not to look for solution that I am powerful. But I see some of the friends, you know, who don't eat all this vegan food and they are just having children. And I ask myself, what have I done wrong? What have I done wrong? I even have medicine that I give it to people. And then when I give it to them, boom, just within a month, their husbands, their um, sorry, wives are pregnant, get pregnant. And I'm using it and it's not working for me because you know what? That medicine, it just take care of uh, what you call infections. So if you are having infection, a woman is having candidiasis and it is not able to get pregnant, it takes care of that. But it cannot supply your sperm. You see, so those people, they eat everything. So they were able to achieve results. Here is the case, I was using my own product and I was not getting results. To cut everything then, short. Yeah. Yeah, so, so yeah, many of the brothers, uh -huh. yeah. so some of them, I know a particular brother who is even a holistic so-called doctor, yeah? I started teaching him, you understand, way back in a brief. Today, he's on radio and TV. He says he's a holistic doctor. He has no child. He has no child now. And I know his problem and what he's lacking. But you see, it is very, very... It's, it's, it's not easy for you to humble yourself onto this path and for you to admit and tell people that, yo, I have been wrong. It's not easy. Because we have carried the whole thing like a religion. Veganism is now a religion. There's a vegan God somewhere. So people think that if they change their food and start to put animal products in their food, there is a vegan some God somewhere who is going to punish them or they will go to hell or something like that. Veganism is just like Christianity. The way Christians are afraid of hell when they die, the same vegans are afraid to eat something that will help their physiology. Yes, wow. brother. So if you're watching us, this is a wildlife GH uh, tel uh, television production. My name is Lord Kaliba, and this great man sitting there, as you're watching him, is Tanako Benabwedi. He's a holistic healer, and he's making some serious revelations with, with uh, regards to heart attacks that are related to the, the, the vegetarian li lifestyle. Uh, he's saying uh, one of the problems that one can suffer from being a vegan, uh, uh, not applying the, the math well, is being uh, childless or having se uh, sexual dysfunctional issues. So as we delve in, Nana Kobnabwedi will help us to know how to balance this equation. And if we still want to choose to be vegetarians, what are some of, some of the things that we can do to possibly uh, balance everything, being, uh, being wise with our decisions and our moves while calculating our ways with regards to our diet to make the right and uh, resourceful, uh, good meals for ourselves? Nana Kobnabwedi. Yes, King. Hello, Nana. Yes. Yes, my, King. My question to you is that we, we, we also know that uh, there are people who are not vegans, but yet they also don't have children and they're also having uh, sexual dysfunctional issues and all that. Mm -hmm. What about them? Mm -hmm. Okay, thank you very much for this question. You see, let me take you back to the very beginning. The reason why even the whole veganism this thing started, why they were able to in the beginning, influence and capture some of us. You see, prior to veganism or vegetarianism, our ancestors were never having any issue. They were eating balanced food, okay? We were aquatic people, marine people. That's why they call us Nubi. We were Nubi, Nubians. The white people added the A and making Nubians. We were Nubi 
from ancient Egypt and Sudan. We live near waters. We were fisher folks. And we eat good fish, which contains omega-3 fatty acids. We did not eat processed carbohydrates. We only ate guinea corn, which the Ghana people call ma. You know what I mean? And we eat wild yam. That is even when we started to go into the jungles and we discover wild yams, you know, and it is seasonal. So, but what we were having every day was fish because fish never run out out of the ocean. We were having fish throughout the year. You understand? And those who live in Accra, they can bear witness. Always there's fish. We were blessed. If you dig the earth right now, Anywhere you like, let rain fall for six months. Tilapia will come inside. You don't have to put any fingerlings. Tilapia will just come automatically. This land was blessed. So hmm. when the food industry took over and then they started to bring processed carbohydrates to our people, you understand, the white sugar, white flour, right. white rice, and all this process, yeah, pasta, and all these things, now they call it indomie, which is the worst thing. When they start bringing all tomato paste and all these things, canned beef and, and canned beef, canned that to us, and our people start to indulge in them, this is where the problem started. And then veganism uh, started to influence people. Oh, it's because of this this thing and meat that people are eating, that is why they are suffering. It is a lie. It is because of the processed food. Because prior to that, people were living 200 and 300. I have interviewed somebody who is 250 inside Ventura before. Papa Uso J, even TV Africa interviewed him. There are people who are in room right now, they don't even know their age, but they ate everything. They are 180. Recently, Captain Smart, Captain Smart interviewed um, an, a, a woman, a woman who, yeah. yes, is left with two years and she will be 200. What are you talking about? She is not a vegan and she's not a vegetarian. Okay? So, it is the processed foods that were killing our people. So all we had to do is to remove the processed food from the equation and then life will be better. So the reason wow. why those people right now who seems to have challenges but they are not vegans and they are not able to give birth is that, you see, I'm, I'm a holistic doctor. I have my office here, yeah? And they keep coming. Yeah. And when I check them, I realize that their body is inflamed. They are eating too much processed carbohydrates. So they have what we call inflammation. In, and inflammation causes uh, infections within their body. So it is a... Yes, wait, sorry. Some uh, one uh, called uh, and I have to call the person. Yes. Yeah. Sorry, I'm back. Yeah. Someone called, I have to call the person. So, lifestyle and hazards that can yeah. be uh, related mm. to it. Uh, it, 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 is, it, it, is, it is very interesting. And uh, Charlie, very deep as he's teaching us. He's a holistic mm -hmm. doctor. Uh, he's a holistic healer. So, uh, share it and get engaged. If you have questions to ask, uh, send in your questions, right. your comments. And let's get engaged and let's play. My name oh, is Oh, 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 oh. Always take time to join us to teach us what you know like. hello now uh, uh, any nation offer an oil no, no, no. yo 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 fine me pay me pay program i travel back on so this program is uh -huh. uh, let's talk here it's a, it's a program set to help uh, bring re resource persons just like nana kobna boedi to educate us on health related topics nana kobna boedi can, uh, can you yes, please i'm here yeah i'm here nana, hello i'm here so yeah, I can hear you. Can you hear me? I can hear you. Can you hear me? Yes. I can hear you. Now, try to find his foot with oh. his uh, sound. Uh, mind question for Nana now. Hello? Busy. Can you I'm hear me? Like, uh, bad. Nana, I, 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 can't, I can't hear you. 
Wow. Really? So Hello? If, if, if you were a vegetarian, surely I know there are so many benefits affiliated to being a, a vegetarian. Nanakobna uh, Boyi is telling us the other side of the story. With a vegetarian and you're watching this live feed. At any point in time, that you'll be watching this live feed. Also, sending your comment, your experience, being, being, being a, a vegan, and let's all Hello? to develop ourselves because, Charlie, who is going to do it Hello, for us? It's not our own self. And I can't hear you. Oh, why? Hello? Can you hear me? Can you hear me? Can you hear me? Check from there. Nana, your, your voice is totally gone. Hello. I don't know. Uh, try checking your system. But can you hear me, though? Give me I a can hear you. If you. You can hear me. Good. Yeah, perfect. Exactly, but your voice is not coming in again. Wow. Why not try the taking mic. off the, the, the earpiece from the phone now? Yeah. Okay. Can you hear me? No, it's still not coming. No. It's still not coming. Wow. So what's another fine is fought with his audio. Uh, we cannot really hear another Komna Buddhist voice. Check but uh, as he there. said, uh, he, he, he's gone through hell and back. Uh, due to the lifestyle he chose as, as a vegetarian, he was strictly on the fruitarian part, eating raw food, no cooked food. Um, yes, he's championed the cause of promoting the, the vegetarian lifestyle for years. And he can see on, on authority that uh, there are quite a number of challenges and deficiencies related to this lifestyle of being a vegetarian. And for him, during, during his time and era when he chose the, the vegetarian uh, lifestyle or part, uh, there, was, there, there was no internet and uh, sources to information was not as we have it now. So it might have also been a key, a key challenge. Nana, hello. Can you hear me? Hello. Yes, hello. Can you hear me? Can you hear me? <laughs> So uh, he thinks for now, uh, we are lucky that we have people like himself, we have the goggles, we have the social media, the internet, where we have full and see levels of uh, depth of information to really learn and check from uh, the vegetarianism or the vegetarian life uh, indicated and good, but there are so many problems affiliated to it most especially the, the deficiencies that uh, lead us to uh, so many health-related problems. You also touched on the fact that we are people that are close to the sea. Uh, we are ocean-born people that are... Always available. Always available to us. Influx of influx of also the vegetarian diet due to the same. Uh, okay. uh, uh, best best suggested lifestyle for people. But after this research and this personal experience, that lifestyle and people that that he knows uh, who who are also living such lifestyles. There is always a problem of uh, mineral deficiencies and uh, you know sexual related problems, uh, childlessness, and uh, you know. So we we trying to have Nana to have his audio back. Nana, please, can you hear me now? Yes, I can hear yes. you. But uh, can can you say a word if if your voice is back? Hello. Okay. So hello. We still can't hear Nana's voice, but uh, I can hear one you. One of the strangest part, uh, I can hear you. To me that really uh, took me off my heels was, was I don't know. I I I, I, I have not lived with 
in Prohaili Salasia before Art Not. I wasn't born when he was alive, and now he's saying uh, he, he had a close encounter and discussion in relation with one of the grandchildren of uh, his last year, and he made a revelation to him that his work himself uh, wasn't a street vegetarian, he was eating meat, and uh, I think the connection was made due to the fact that uh, he was the last his influence uh, in the Rastafari community. I don't know. I don't, I don't really know why people uh, sometimes also bridge that gap because I think I don't know what brought you into Rastafari. I don't know what made you connect into Rasta, but uh, you cannot know all about the person. So mm -hmm. time, as Nana has indicated, you would uh, get to know people uh, from people that have lived close to the person. I have not lived close to in Prahili Salasia. And I didn't join or I didn't become a Rasta because I knew Rastafari or Haile Salasia was a vegetarian. I, I, I don't have any information to that. So I have never heard that before. So hello, Nana. Is your voice back? Hello. So uh, send in your comments if you're watching this live feed. Uh, let's, let's, let's get interactive. Uh, it's all about the hazards related to the veggie lifestyle. And I'm Kobana Boedi, the policy healer who is teaching, uh, schooling us through this topic and hazards that, that come with it. Uh, this is a one live television broadcast. My name is Watanga, and the program is Let's Talk Health. Uh, so if you're a vegan, let us know your experience that you've, 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 you've had. Uh, someone says, I can hear you both. Now, someone says, Peku uh, says he can hear us both, but I cannot hear now. You see? Nana, can you hear me? Yes, I can okay, hear you. So your voice is very faint on my side. I don't, I don't really know why. Okay, my so voice is far from you. Uh, it's it's far far. With this. Yes, hello. So, Nana, just fix yourself. I'll be right back with you. Yeah? Take control. All right. All right then. So once um, the viewers can hear me, then I just yes. so so Nana, let's let's what? let's just keep flowing. Maybe they can hear the you. Viewers. Hear you. Yeah. So my question to you, if you 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 can hear me clearly, is that yeah, is the vegetarian life a bad? Mm -hmm. The whole thing is that. Uh, um, everything is balanced. Vegetarian lifestyle. You see, we have to understand science. I can, I can, I can, I can, I can hear you now. So go on. Yeah. Oh, okay, okay. So we have to understand uh, the human body. Uh, plants are not builders. If you are building a house, you need a block, a building block. Okay. You need water. You need so many things to come together to build a house. You don't build a house with one element. So the vegan vegetarian lifestyle is good for cleansing the system, for detoxifying the system. That is what the plants do. The plant world, they detoxify the system. Okay? They have their own phytonutrients to clean up the system, the fruits. This is what they do. They don't build. What builds is the proteins. Okay, and we are a complex being. We are our mammals, just like the dolphins. The dolphins live in the ocean, but guess what? They did not chew grass. They are choosing not to eat grass. They are carnivores. 
I might as well say that wolves don't eat grass. They are also carnivores and sharks and so many of mammals that live within the ocean. And guess what? All these mammals, they are the ones that are even so humble and so lovable. We all know dolphins, how they play, how they have so much love. Okay? Everybody wants to associate themselves with the, uh, with the uh, tiger and with the lion. You know, man, a lion. Yes, I am a lion. You are a lion. Have you seen a lion eating carrot before? Have you seen a lion eating lettuce or kale before? We have to know and understand ourselves that this body requires certain nutrients. So the vegan lifestyle, it is good. Our ancestors know about this, that there is a time, there is a season that you have to eat certain things like fruit when it comes in season, okay? During summertime or during when the, the weather is very hot, you eat fruit to hydrate your system more and more. There is time for everything. There is time. Even now, we are in the cold season. We here in Ghana, right now, we are getting into the cold season in August, which is uh, the, 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 the month of fishing among the Ghana people and all the coastal people. What does it say? Or what does it mean? It means that we have to take in more seafoods so that it can keep our body warm. Seafoods, protein keeps the body warm. When you eat seafood, your body is full of what we call uh, omega-3 fatty acids. So you become very warm. And that's how it is. And then you have selenium, zinc. Everything is inside seafood. You will never feel cold. But if you are eating only fruit, pineapples and stuff like that throughout the year, guess what? If the cold season comes, you are going to feel cold. And that is the downside of this lifestyle. Those who in America, they know. That is why most vegans or raw vegans, they leave America to go stay in Puerto Rico and Panama, you know, or they go stay where they can get sunshine because they can never live in America with such lifestyle. Because America, some places are too cold for them. You can, live in, you can never live in the cold weather and eat cold food. The body requires yin yang. Yin is cold and yang is hot. So we have yin food and we have yang food. Yin food is the vegan food. That is the vegetarian, fruitarian. I don't want to even to label it. That is the plant world. That is the yin food. The water food. They have water in them. So it is yin. They are darkness. And then the young food is the food that has warm in them. The animal product. Now, we are not saying everybody should wake up and start to chase animals and eat meat and, you know, every day and like that. What we are saying is that our ancestors in their divine wisdom knew that there are so many products that you can get from even a cow alone that without even eating the meat of the cow. Example is making yogurt or getting raw milk from the cow and making probiotic from the cow, just like the Fulani people have been doing, just like the Samburu of Tanzania have been doing, just like the Maasai of Kenya have been doing. You can make so many products from the milk. You can make cheese from the milk, which they call wangashi. Our people were eating all these things thousands of thousands of years ago, and nobody complained. They live 150. Who, which, which vegan today can tell me that they are able to live up to even 100 years? None of them can mention that. Right from birth? No. Unless someone who is already eat, was already eating meat until they became maybe 60 years and then they decided that they want to go vegan. And that one then they are able to go further. Because you know what? It takes several years, decades, before the meat that you ate from your mother's womb 
the meat that you ate from your school days, it takes several years before it will leave your system. So don't let anybody fool you. You can never even clean it out, all out from your system. That is why those who try, guess what? They get shrink, and they get shrink. They get, you see the skeleton all coming out. And we have so many of these brothers who are now working dead, and then they think they are so cute, but they are dying. They have ulcers, okay? They have kidney infections. I have brothers, rasters, okay, who are having kidney infections because of veganism, but they don't know that it's because of veganism. Why? Because the plant kingdom, they have what we call ozalate. Ozalate is a toxic substance within the plant. They created itself because they don't want to be eaten also. So they create all these toxins within them. It called ozalate. Because animals can run away, but they cannot run away. So they have ozalate, phytic acids, and all this kind of pain, less things to protect themselves from humans and then we go and harvest them and eat them so what happened oxalate binds to calcium so when you eat so much of these vegetables so-called vegetables the broccoli the kills and the, the, the lettuces and all these vegetables that they promote so much by the vegan community you are hurting yourself because your body will be cutting a lot of calcium from your bones and your blood and will filter it or flush it through your kidneys and when calcium is passing through your kidneys guess what it can never pass so it will form stones and that is what we call kidney stones when kidney stones are not treated for long after some time then you have kidney failure let us be wise and let us be guided life balance Spirituality does not mean that you don't eat no meat. Spirituality doesn't mean that you don't eat no fish. Spirituality does not mean that you don't eat no herbs or you don't drink no milk or cow milk. Our ancestors, the most powerful people who built the pyramids, who built the Aztec civilizations, who built the Indus Valley civilizations, they were all eating fish. The, 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 the drawings, the writings are on the wall clearly. In the ancient Egypt, you see them holding tilapia. It's there on the walls. You see them milking cow. So who are you to come and now say that you don't want to take in cow? To come and say you don't want to take in milk? To say you don't want to take in anything because of what? Oh, it is a new trend that is coming and you are following. Your mother and your father gave you that same food. Distance. Thank yeah, you yeah. so much, Anna, for all this depth of information that you are, uh, you've given. Yeah. Uh, but my very last question, if you can really hear me. Nana, hello. Yes, yes, I can hear you. Yes. My, my, my last question to conclude the uh, session to, uh, today is that... Uh, what do we do now? Now we know all this information that you are giving. What should we do? And to the people who are who would, would still opt to be in the in the line that they've chosen to live their lives, what can they do to balance the equation to maintain that from your status that we all want? You know, I I, I don't sugarcoat my words and I will never lie to you. Trust me. Whoever wants to choose that path, it's all right. I used to be there. So they should enjoy that path, but they are going to have consequences because nobody can escape nature. The word nutrition comes from the ancient Egyptian language, nut, from the mother nut. Why the mother nut? She represents the ocean. And she is the one who gave us the nutrition. When our ancestors were finding way to develop their brain, because our brains at a point of time were very small, and they were trying to make their brain sharp so that they would stop hunting for animals and killing them, our mother led them to the riversides and led them to what? 
the oceans and then they found the water. When they found the water, they saw birds, all right, kingfisher. They saw all these birds hunting for fish. And then they said, wow. So there's something like that in the, in the ocean and the rivers. And that's where they started to eat fish. And right away, they start to have what, what we call omega-3 fatty acid or DHA, docahexanoic acids, the most powerful. That is what develops the brain. This is what makes us different from all mammals. All mammals don't have DHA in their brain. Only humans and then the aquatic animals, they have it. So that makes us different. If not DHA, my brother, like by this time, we will be holding clubs in our hand and we, are, we will be chasing animals. But DHA develop and make our brain bigger. Like our brains will be like that of a chimpanzee. So if anybody wants to remain on that level where the brains will be shrinking and then their head will be shaking and having Parkinson's, Azemia, and mental issue, depression, like what vegans are going through now in their old age, which I know a lot, even yesterday, one brother called me telling me about his father who has lost his, 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 his mental faculties. You know what I mean? Because uh, he is a vegetarian. If you don't want to go into that level, then please start eating fish. Tons of fish. We have the ocean. The ocean that we don't like, the white people, the Chinese people are taking over our ocean because it is full of DHA, which makes us wiser and we were able to build pyramids. Now we cannot build nothing. We are weak. We are skeletal people working and we say we are spiritual. Check all our ancestors. I said we are free, the great giants who came all the way from Egypt to Central Egypt. Check their body structure. It is because of DHA. They were farmers, and fishermen. So they were eating a lot of fish, red snapper, salmon, tuna to get omega-3 fatty acids, okay? So veganism okay. is okay. not to be, it to okay. be done in a long term. Let me finish. Veganism must never be a long-term thing. I still do. It is something that you do to cleanse your system once in a while, all right, to cleanse the system because plant and uh, plant world, what they do is to detoxify the system. So our ancestors know that long time ago, but they don't put labels on it. Even you can see some of our food is vegan food, like gobe. Gobe is vegan food. It's just beans, fried plantain, and curry. It's vegan food. So long time, we were eating those foods already. There's always balance. When we have money to buy fish, we buy fish and eat. We don't, we don't subscribe to one particular thing and say, this is what I'm eating for the rest of my life. We don't. You understand? So we give thanks yes, all the time. Yes, so if you want to fast, fast. If you want yes. to cleanse your system, cleanse your system. If you want to eat meat once in every five months, eat, listen to your body. I'm not saying everybody should be eating meat every day. It's not good. I'm saying listen to your body and be balanced because so many people are dying because of deficiencies than, you know, listen people who body, are not. Balance. So much people. Balance. Dying due to deficiency. Are dying this, this, because this of deficiencies. Trust me. Yes, and I'm sure uh, mm. we would all take it to it to listen to our body, to know ourselves, to know where we are falling short, and apply all that we need to yeah, apply man. just to be balanced and gain all the nutrients and the mineral supplement that our body needs for us to live a healthy and well life. My name is Lord Kaliba. Thank you so much, yeah. Anna Bwedi, for yes, sir. this afternoon and blessing us right. with this knowledge and uh, your experience, sharing of your, yeah. your personal experience. It's my and pleasure. Lots, uh, quantum of knowledge for us, Charlie. Thank you so my much. Pleasure. You always have to, uh, my our pleasure. Aid with all these advice. I hope uh, your comments will be coming in, your questions will be coming in. I yeah. hope we would all be learning from this. I hope we would all be out there researching not just being zombies to words, but go out there, research, find for yourself, check yourself, know the problems you are going through, and try to balance yourself with some of this ed educational bit that we are hearing from Nana Kovina Budi. 
uh, until we meet again next time. Before and just, not, as, uh, okay. This is last word. Uh, share this link. Last word. Share this live stream. And let's keep the uh, movement going. Nana, you want to say something before we go? Oh, yeah. Just a quick uh, one minute thing. What I'm saying is that I want to tell the youth who are coming up that, you see, I have been there already. Okay? I am in the middle. I am in, in my uh, middle of heading towards 50. And you see me, I work five hours. I am strong. I am stronger than a 25-year-old person. Mentally, physically, everything. So I am telling them that they should never listen to hypocrites. Because I know so many of the races, okay, who are eating meat behind closed doors. I have done all that research. They know. But they will never come on social media to come and tell you. Some of them are musicians. Popular ones, you know them. Some of them are uh, 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 TV hosts and uh, whatever, uh, 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 online hosts and stuff like that. They are making all their names around. But they are eating all those things. Back in the days when I was talking about nutrition, they didn't want to hear. Now, they started to die get sick and now they started eating them they are eating all the chickens in their soup and their bampine so you be wise and open your third eye and and follow your ancestors okay when you wake up in the morning let me give them tips do sun gazing because all this type of food can never work without the light do sun gazing 10 minutes 6 a.m look at the sun sun gazing when it is 9, 10, 11, sit under the sun two hours and do sun bathing by exposing all your body. Unless maybe you are in office work, then you cannot do it. But find a way to do sun bathing, even at your break time. Come out and do sun bathing. Also, get fresh air. And also, do grounding at your leisure time. Let your foot be on the ground, rocks, grass. And ground yourself because there are so many what we call um, positive ions up there, and we need negative ions to balance our our battery. So you should do grounding a lot and love yourself, forgive yourself. Do not hate nobody. Do not hate nobody. I repeat, do not hate nobody. It is not about black and white. It is about light. Love yourself. Forgive your father. Forgive your mother. Forgive whoever has wronged you. Forgive them. If you don't forgive, you can never ascend. I do so many things. I make rain to fall. And I give the same exercise to people and they don't achieve nothing. And then they ask me, Nana, why? Because I say yes. Because you cannot forgive. People have so much things inside them and then they are trying to be spiritual. You can never be spiritual if you don't forgive. The sun forgives us every day. It keeps shining for even the wicked people. The sun keeps shining for them. So please be like the sun. One love. One love, Nana. Thank you so much for this time, for all that yeah. uh, were part of this live stream. I say thank you for joining us. God bless you all. Uh, Namaste. Friday would we'll, we'll be back. Uh, possibly Sunday would we'll also be back with an interesting subject each and every time. I'm sure Nana Kobna would 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 also join us again with another controversial and, compl and, and complicated uh, topic as he, he always brings on board. So Nana, salute and thank you so much. God bless you salute. and to all those watching Na us. Namaste. Sharing, sending your comments, sending your questions, and let's keep the movement going. My name is Lord Kaliba. This is a One Life G Television production. This is Let's Talk Health. And I say, I say, I mean, come on home. Thank you and blessed love, Nana. Thank you.